Hi, my name is Chevy, and I am in the class of 2022 studying industrial and management engineering. Back in high school, I originally wanted to study chemical engineering, and that's what I actually initially applied as. Um, I applied as a chemical engineering major after talking to my then chemistry teacher, who was actually a Rensselaer alum. He gave me a lot of insight um, as to what it was like to be a Rensselaer student and spoke to me a little bit about his experience at Rensselaer, which then I took and researched for myself. And I found out that Rensselaer is actually a really great school, not just for engineering, but also for math and science, which I knew I wanted to pursue. After I got accepted, I immediately went and attended Accepted Students Day. And it was there, after speaking with current students, that I really realized that the environment at Rensselaer was truly unique. I have never had an opportunity to experience what it was like to learn at an institution where everyone was like-minded and pursuing similar goals, but at Rensselaer, that was the case. And in my short duration there for Accepted Students Day, I could immediately see how students were building off of one another and being in a place where they support each other because everyone was working towards the same thing to effectively build a better tomorrow, whether it be through math, computer science, or engineering. I think what defined my freshman year at Rensselaer was the clubs and organizations that I chose to be a part of. First and foremost, when I got on campus, I auditioned to be a part of the Rensselaerics, an acapella group. Back in high school, I wasn't necessarily a singer. I joined my uh, high school's theater in spring of senior year and got a role in the ensemble, but I definitely wouldn't consider myself a singer. To my surprise, they called me back and then accepted me, and honestly, accepting their offer to join the group was the best decision I've ever made. I spent about six hours a week at rehearsal, two hours on Tuesday, two hours on Thursday, and two hours on Sunday, and spending that much time around the same people um, it really just cultivates a friendship like no other. I know that there are the people that I can rely on if I ever need help with anything, or if I need to talk to someone, or if I just have questions regarding Rensselaer or need some upperclassmen advice. Um, other than the Rensselaerics, I'm also a part of student government. And in high school, I was a member of student government. And immediately upon coming to Rensselaer, I knew that I wanted to be a part of student government there as well. I ran for freshman president, and I won um, in a contested race with four other contestants, so that was a really big accomplishment for me, and I used freshman year to kind of um, create a lot of programs that promoted class unity, as well as having people interact with each other and getting to know each other, since it was just our first year on campus, and I was re-elected to a second term, so during my sophomore tenure, I spent a lot of time preparing our cohort for the ARCH, as well as working with different offices around campus to help plan programs for the ARCH. Um, another organization that I'm a part of is the Red and White Organization, and that is an organization that focuses specifically on um, connecting Rensselaer students, the surrounding community, and as well as Rensselaer alumni, and we actually do a lot of events that promote these connections. So an example of an event is study days at the Hefner Alumni House, where we basically clear out the entire um, room and put in a bunch of study tables before finals, and we actually supply a lot of snacks, and it's a great environment to study in. Me and my friends have definitely taken advantage of it a couple times, and I think it's great because we have a really lasting impact to the Rensselaer community as well as to the alumni organization when we do run events like these, and um, I'm really happy to be a part of it.